trashers bright and early monday morning um so <laughs> I'm gonna hit this post office real quick check this out so yesterday my phone started getting blown up from ebay with offers bing 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 don't know what's going on so i get on <clears throat> and check out what these offers are for it's for those VHS tapes. All the all the porno tapos. So I'm like, alright, well, let's see what we got going on. I've got them up for $10 plus shipping. This, this cat's offering me five bucks each. I'm like, Sh you got it. Bam, bam, bam. I started accepting them. There was five of those. I accepted them. Five bucks each plus shipping. And then one DVD lot that we went back and forth on for like 20 minutes because they couldn't understand what the deal was, I guess. But sold that for 10 bucks. Then they messaged me and asked me if I'm going to combine shipping. Yeah, I'll combine shipping, even though I didn't want to. So I knocked like $15 off of shipping to 10 bucks or whatever. So it's like a $45 deal is what it ended up being. But they haven't paid yet, and he hadn't responded back to me. So I kind of think, I kind of think he don't like that. But... I'm, I'm in the I'm in the mindset now like I'm almost done paying for shipping like I'm not I'm not gonna pay for shipping anymore I've been like you know I'll put this on there and we'll get kind of close and I'll make up the rest and this and that but I'm almost over that so yeah go on thrift store see what's up all right thrift store is kind of dead for a Monday morning I did find some uh, Princess Diana uh, magazines from '97 something like that but they're not going for much unfortunately started to buy them just for myself but I really got to get out of doing stuff like that because I don't need them but uh, I did buy this Fila, Fila wallet in the metal case don't think it was ever used they wanted 425 for it somehow the guy ended up seeing it wrong or something but it sold to me for 325 so that's cool um, going for about 15 bucks or something like that I feel like I'm gonna push 20 on it just because I'm pretty sure it's brand new and it has the metal case so I'll try to get 20 plus like three bucks shipping or something but yeah that's what's up let's get to this post office hopefully they'll ship these movies um, the way I need them to because, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a truck loaded up. But the smart thing to do would be throw this guy on there, too. And I hope it'll stay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, if you couldn't tell, we're actually going to the scrapyard tomorrow morning after work. I keep saying I'm going to, then I never do. But we're going in the morning. But, uh, grab that stroller. Probably shouldn't have thrown it on there like that, but just to clarify, if you can see it right there on the back, be my right, your left, I guess, corner right there, <clears throat> I did end up pulling the strap off and running it up under it and cinching it down. So she's not going anywhere. She would have if I'd have left it. And I am uh, wild enough. I came real close to leaving it. So it is what it is. I don't know what the scrap price is like. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm happy with a $20 bill. So hopefully we get at least 20 bucks. But hopefully we get more, like 40. 40 would be budging also. I don't know how much weight we got. I'll take a guess in the morning. What's up, trashers? At the scrapyard. Three random thoughts for you right here. Check this out. Number one. Seems like every time I get off night shift and we go to the scrapyard, it's raining. Fair enough? Fair enough. Number two. Do any of you guys listen to podcasts? Because if you do, and you like bounty hunting, check out the Wanted Podcast. That junk is gold. Flipping gold. And number three. These gloves smell like straight butthole. 
Yeah, butthole. Like butthole and menthol cigarettes. But not the cigarette part, just the menthol from a cigarette part. Kind of weird, like how the menthol tastes is how this smells. I guess it's from uh, that junk we pulled off side of the road. I just wipe it on my face, cool. Uh, that junk we pulled off side of the road the other day that I went through during the snow. That's, that's about all I can figure because I've worn these things. These, well, hell, these right here got holes in them. I've worn these for a long time. This is the first time they've ever smelled like butthole. So that's weird. Butthole gloves. But anyway, you know what it means when it rains. They don't come out and watch. Mine don't watch anyway, but they really don't give a damn when it rains. So that's kind of good because I've got a TV in the back, and I don't think they like those. But they're going to take it. Don't know what the scrap price is. So hopefully it's decent. Oh, yeah. Um, that one guy that bought all those dirty movies has not paid. I sent him a message, so I guess that's just going to be a no-go. Whatever. But I had another guy message me last night, and I guess, I don't know what's up with eBay. Any of you guys having this problem where people can't send you offer, like, can't send you offers? Like, my all my stuff is best offer, because I'm just like that. But they can't send me offers, so they message me, and they tell me they can't send me offers. So then I just reply with an offer. But somebody bought another lot of DVDs, dirty movie DVDs, for 15 bucks plus shipping, so that's cool. Cool. Leo. And uh, I don't think I told you. But I posted a bunch of Super Nintendo and Nintendo games on eBay, and I put them at a crazy price. They're worth about 600 bucks. I put 700 on it just to see. I figure if somebody offers me enough, I'll probably take it. I kind of put it high like that so I wouldn't sell it for just anything, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm sitting here thinking about it. I'm kind of thinking about breaking the whole lot up and just selling them one-on-one, -on -one, or at least the ones that are more valuable. And uh, just reinvesting that money back into making more money. And I only did Nintendo and Super Nintendo because I really don't care about those systems. I mean, I do, don't get me wrong, but I didn't play Nintendo or Super Nintendo as a kid just because we didn't have it. I'm a Game Boy guy, though. I played the piss out of Game Boy and uh, Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn was my first system, if that helps you. About mid, mid 90s there. So that's that's where I was that's where I started. So yeah, I don't know. Kind of kind of just wanting to cull the collection a little bit. But yeah, other than that, we're gonna sit here and wait. What time is it? 7:53. They'll open at eight. I don't know what the price is, but hopefully it's decent. Hopefully it's decent. Six or seven cents a pound would be awesome. I think last time we came it was like four, four and a half cent. So I'll take that too. I'll take five all day. All day. But realistically I'll take whatever I get, so let's see.
thirty dollars and forty cent. It's supposed to be thirty-four. Thirty dollars is what we got. Whatever, man. That's that's gas for the week. I'm down.